Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's Froggy Blog here and I'm gonna give you a breakdown of, don't look at me like that, Phoebe. Phoebe's my kitten, if you are not aware. And just when I started talking in that intro, she was sleeping and she woke up and she looks at me like, you know when cats give you that look like, anyhow, okay, sorry about that, little sidebar kitten. Um, yes, I'm gonna give you, Da, 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 da. I'm gonna give you a concealer, side-by-side, -side, comparison, showdown, whatever you wanna call it. I asked a few of you, well, <laughs> I asked you, the collective you, not just a few of you. Um, you, Nancy, and you, good. Okay, Joan, you, <laughs> just kidding. So I asked you if you wanted me to review the Jeffree Star Concealer. I don't really remember what video I asked you that in, but a lot of you were like, yes, please do. Super curious, wanna know. And I'm like, I'm down. So my daughter actually asked for it. She's like, I've gotta try this mom. And she's very pale. So she's a paler pale than I am. And um, so much so she's used the Kat Von D white successfully. Um, so I got her a couple light shades and then I got a shade for me. Let me tell you, there's two things you need to know about the Jeffree Star Concealer. It comes in 22 shades. The light shades run light. So if you're like me or darker, just ignore those like first six shades. Okay, second, um, a lot of shades, especially the light shades, are sold out. So... Sorry, I can't, you know, I should have done this maybe a couple weeks ago, but I don't know. I don't, I never know when I'm doing something and it launches and then it's sold out. It's like, great. <laughs> Did I tell you what I'm comparing it against? Uh, Charlotte Tilbury. So this concealer here, Magic Away, um, is actually a really great concealer. It's high end. You know, I thought, I think Jeffrey's high end, it's $22, so it's not a drugstore, but it's relatively affordable for like the Sephora, you know, Beautylish um, department. Uh, but the Magic Away, I believe, is more. I think this is in the $30 range. It's lovely, but it's drying and it can be creepy for some. So I think the people who love it, love it. And I think the folks like me that work with it and work it, really enjoy it. Um, and then there's people that hate it. Um, but the point is, is it's a good, it's also good for everywhere on the face. Same with the Jeffree Star. The Magic Away compared to, is that what it's called? Magic Away or Magic Star? Well, let's look, Rebecca. Dude, Magic Star. Okay, high coverage liquid concealer formula comes in over 30 shades. I said 22 shades? It's $22. Okay, fragrance free, paraben free, talc free. I did not detect any fragrance or like, you know, denatured alcohol or anything in there. Um, so yeah, so let's talk about that first. I have shade C0, is that what? Oh, this is the pure white. The packaging on this is kind of ridiculous and amazing. And it reminds me, if I was a six year old girl and I got this, it would forever be one, my favorite piece of makeup. Two, I would put it in my Barbie trunk and somehow I would figure out it would probably be like a scepter for my, for my Princess Barbie or something like that. Maybe my Charlie's Angel doll. Um, did I have a Charlie's Angel doll? No, I had a... No, I wanted one. I think I wanted like the Farrah Fawcett Barbie. Had that Sears catalog out. Okay, so we've got white here. And then we have O, then we have C1. Which has, you know, just like you're just starting to get a little more like tan and peach pigment. And then I got for me the C3, which I definitely need like the next one. But this way you guys can see. Okay, this one is a little more neutral, whereas I think this one is a little more pink. So, right? 
And also Jeffrey came out with a setting powder. The setting powder, I think it's nice. I don't think there's anything special compared to some other really nice setting powders. Like I feel if you already have, well, I love hard candy and I love the flower and I love elf. So if you have those and you love them, you know, if you want to save your money, save your money. If you have like the hourglass powder, the, the wowder, the, what's another like favorite powder of mine? Um, Becca. So if you have one of those, oh, got the bend. Um, I just, I don't feel like this one is, is like, oh, you're going to just love it so much and you're going to feel so blurred and refined. You know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. I'm just letting you know though. It smells like cotton candy though. Just a touch. It's very nice. It's very soft. I believe it has talc in it, um, which I'm fine with, but I'm just letting you know. However, on the flip side, and I know this isn't, I'm comparing loose to set, set, uh, mm -mm. loose to press. Sorry. That's like apples and oranges, but I did pick up the Charlotte Tilbury. See, they're both called airbrush. So that's what I'm doing. The airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder. This is shade two. Um, this, oh God. I just finally bit it and bought it because it was driving me crazy because so many channels love it. And I'm like, it can't be that good. It's very nice. So I will be setting the Charlotte Tilbury side with that because I feel like it's kind of fair, right? All right, let's get started. C3. Damn, I just poked myself with the star. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> I'm sending you the bill, Jeffrey, if I poke my eye. Okay. Oh my God. I have, um, so I'm going to focus this product right here. I'm also going to take, take my brush. You can just use any, any makeup, uh, kind of concealer brush but I like to get it where it's dark. I'm so, oh God, my, my flesh is so thin and blue right there. Okay. I just like to, cause there's only so much, especially I'm wearing eyeshadow. I wanted to kind of get some of my makeup done. Um, and when I just kind of try to get my sponge in there or my finger, it's, it's not, yeah, it's not good. So you guys can see, I'm highlighted, I'm definitely concealed, no dark circles anymore, looks good. It's not creasy, crepey, it doesn't go anywhere, so it's it's a very nice job. You can use this anywhere to highlight, define, whatever you want. Okay, so I'm gonna take some powder. I'm gonna do just a soft brush. My technique is not to bake. I just do a soft dusting. Um, when you get old and crepey, you need to fluff. Okay. I wanted to get that. I already kind of went too long. I'm like, I have got to powder before I crease up and make expression lines. Although it is nice to powder. If you delay powdering, it is kind of nice because then you, the product can soak in a little bit and then you're not just trying to dry out wet product. Okay. So this shade is for this also, I think runs light and it's a bitch to open. Oh my God. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. So let's say sponge tip. It's really messy. And I know that there's people who've taken it off so that they can just squeeze the product. Um, I feel like if I did that, I would probably get product everywhere. So I just do a couple clicks and then I do kind of, I'm kind of conservative with it. Um, this product, this shade four, look at me like just cranking it when I said, I just do a couple. Um, this shade four is more of my shade versus what I picked out with the Jeffree Star. So I find this to be a great match. Also know that it runs light as well. So I would 
most brands I'm not like up to a shade four in something. Um, so that's just good to know. And um, it can be used anywhere as well. Let's take the powder, also just a soft brush, soft brush, soft brush, and tap, okay? Oh, that's nice, that's nice, right? Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let things go for a bit. I'm gonna let them sit. I'm going to put the rest more makeup on and then I'm gonna come back with you guys to give you more of a wear test. So uh, stay tuned, I'm just gonna fill this in. Okay, you guys, I have my full makeup on, highlighter, contour, I feel a little more complete. Um, so, so far, everything's great. Let me give you a close-up. So I don't know. What's funny is I kind of went a little, okay, so this side is wearing highlighter kind of thick versus this side. This side I did first and I went, whoa! And then this side I was like, lighter, lighter, lighter hand, Rebecca. So it almost looks like this side is lighter even though this was the Jeffree Star shade that was kind of too light for my skin. Um, okay, so we've got the Charlotte Tilbury over here, and we've got Jeffrey over here, and right now, both of them have really good coverage. Um, they're doing a good job of not settling. So I feel like maybe there's a little bit more dryness, just a smidge of maybe some lines, but then, I don't know. That could also be because I waited a while. Um, this side is set, I mean, the Charlotte Tilbury is one of my top five concealers, so it's kind of unf No, it's good. It's a good challenge. It's a good challenge for this one to, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, so this, I already enjoy it. Seeing that new powder over it is kind of like, okay, okay, I see you powder. I see why you're 40 some bucks or whatever. So let's give this a few hours and then I will let you know how it's going. We'll give them both a few hours, but you know what I mean. And then we can decide for ourselves which one wears better. All right, so I will see you folks in a few hours. Hey you guys, it has been six hours and then some, and I'm here to just let you know how the concealers wore. I'm gonna say it's kind of a tie in my opinion. If you see something on camera that I don't or it looks brighter on one side than the other, let me know. But in terms of the way they wore, I feel like both sides did a good job of not creasing. There's no fading. I mean, honestly, they're pretty good. You guys, I'm gonna say these are, the Jeffree Star Concealer is pretty darn good. And um, if you already have the Charlotte Tilbury, I don't think there's really any need to run out and get one or the other because I mean, you're getting your concealer, right? Yeah, of course, that's my opinion. Everybody has a preference. Everybody's face is different. You get the idea. $22, $32, it's up to you which one you prefer. Remember, I don't think either of them actually cover tattoos, to be honest with you. Tattoo. Of course, my uh, skin on my arm. Ah, there we go. See, as soon as you start blending, this is just self-tanner, you guys, so trust me. In the winter, this I feel like you can see. Ready? Like, if you needed to hide a tattoo from a distance, it could work. If you needed to hide a tattoo from your mom, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. Um, <laughs> don't worry, my mom's totally fine with my tattoo. I didn't have to hide it from her. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will
See you next time. Bye.